We are here at the Parsi Gymkhana on Marine Drive in Mumbai. This is the very ground where Surya honed his batting skills before heading down under. Joining us here today is former Mumbai batsman Vinayak Mane, who helped Surya practice for hours at this ground before he went down for the World Cup. Welcome to CNN News 18, Vinayak. Thank you. So, Vinayak, tell us what was the whole process? I mean, Surya practiced at this very ground for hours before he went to Australia. Take us through that entire process of what exactly happened during those hours of practice. Uh, actually, whenever he is uh, in Mumbai and uh, he's got uh, no major commitments with uh, MCA, he always enjoys coming to Gymkhana for a practice session. And we have always made sure that he is very well facilitated with uh, the practice conditions, uh, variety of bowlers, and obviously uh, whatever uh, his demands are. So we made sure he is uh, uh, very well facilitated and all the needs for his practice requirements are taken care of. Right. So there were some sessions of throwdowns and uh, specific requirements which were met for Surya for, his, for him to bat on those Australian pitches. Could you, could you elaborate some more on that? Yeah, he always had his uh, sidearm specialist coming along with him and then uh, he was always instructed in a certain way to bowl you know, um, and uh, change lengths. Right. So obviously he had his set of uh, ideas how he will prepare. Right. And then again uh, here the wickets are very well maintained and you know, we always take good care of the ground. Right. And uh, the facility was there, pitches were pretty helpful for bowlers and he enjoyed playing that pace, you know, the side armor uh, as well as different variety of bowlers right. who would turn up for the session and I think that has helped him prepare very well for the Some tournament. of the shots that we have seen him play, I mean they have been audacious shots, right? I mean he's, he's kind of scooped fast bowlers, he's played the uh, paddle. So uh, does kind of you do you relate to those shots? I mean did he do that in practice here? Uh, to be honest, I have uh, seen him play the sweep, the laps since he was what, 18. I am watching him bat. He played with me for Bharat Petroleum, and uh, we have played alongside each other. He was uh, on scholarship. We were uh, we were employed by BPC, but he was on scholarship when he joined us. And I have seen him play the scoop shots and the sweeps. Uh, those days also, uh, he would do it more often against spin sweeping. But now he's doing it against. It's a very different play. ball game to do yeah, it against. Yeah, doing it against 140 as well. So yeah, he's uh, developed that sense of uh, execution. I feel uh, over the years. Right. And he's doing it for last uh, few years against pace as well. But he's always played the lap shot uh, since he was an age group cricketer. So tell me, I mean, uh, since you've known him for so long, uh, how has his game developed? I mean, how has Surya as a batsman developed over the years? Uh, I mean, I have seen him uh, develop very closely because I was with BPC as well. He played a year of club cricket at our old club, Shivaji Park Youngsters as well, together. Then he moved on. And then we joined Parse Jim Khan. I, I joined nine years back. He is here for the last seven odd years. So I have seen his development uh, from a player who would always hit square of the wicket. Right. But the major development, I did mention it to him you know, in 2015-16 season when he had a very good season for Mumbai. Uh, he did mention him ki that uh, you, know, you are playing the game down the ground very well. Mm. And he started driving efficiently down the ground and he started hitting the straight fields. And then uh, he started hitting the straight fields uh, in the air as well in through right. the stands. And I think that's the major development which he has done in last few years where uh, in white ball cricket now he's got all the tactical uh, aces with him. Correct. So he holds the aces and he's very smart in you know, using it on and off. At times he hits behind, at times he hits straight field. Right. So he's been very calculative about it. Depends And it depends on the conditions he's playing in. Right. right. So, uh, I mean, you have seen Surya, like you said, when he was 18, 19. I mean, you all have played under 19 cricket together. Uh, you are also now a prominent coach in the Mumbai cricketing uh, circle. Any other bright youngsters that you see uh, who emerge emerging through the ranks of Mumbai cricket who can maybe represent India in the future? Oh, the I next guy? Can I say that? Yeah, I mean, uh, the recently concluded uh, Sayyid Mustaq Ali Mumbai has won and I think they are very familiar faces in Indian domestic cricket now. 
and uh, Sarfraz Shaw, yeah. Shreyas obviously is playing international cricket. But yes, uh, these uh, three, four batters, they have huge potential. And I think Sarfaraz is making a lot of... Uh, he was very unlucky to be left out. Yeah, you know, he's making a lot of uh, good performances uh, in the domestic circuit. Right. So I think he's the next in line who will, uh, at least I feel, pretty make soon, it to the Indian very team. soon make it to the Indian team. And then obviously he'll also have to adapt uh, at that level of cricket. Right. Because uh, the de demands at international crickets are different. Right. So hopefully he does that. Interesting. I mean, he's, he's, I think he's missed out... Uh, on his chance to kind of get through the ranks. So, uh, tell me, uh, what can we expect more from Sky now? I mean, I'm, I'm asking you this because you know him so well. Uh, like you said, he's played in the V, he's played the scoop, he's played the lap. What, what next for Surya Kumar? I think he finishes the World Cup on a high. Hopefully, hmm. he does well in the semi-finals, finals for India. India won the cup. So he's in the India versus Pakistan final with Surya yeah, yeah. maybe scoring a century in the yeah. World Cup final. Yeah, it will be an epic finish for the country as well, right. for Surya's fans as well and for the club as well because uh, we'll be also happy, you know, yeah. him doing Absolutely. well and India Absolutely. winning the World Cup. And we'll all be very proud. Yes, and uh, yeah, it will be an epic finish for everyone. And beyond that, I feel he's getting into the test team. Mm. Uh, so hopefully you he know, now that, now that you mentioned the test team bit, uh, I mean, it's very surprising that Surya Kumar has made his debut for India just last year. Uh, do you think he missed out on his opportunities before this? I mean, do you think he could have been picked before this? Or do you think it's he's been picked at the right time when he's at the prime of his career? I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, a year or so back he was uh, doing very well. I feel he could have made it then also. Mm. Uh, obviously, one day T20 he played before that. Yeah. But talking about red ball, I think he, he's shown it for Mumbai. He's got mm. the temperament to deal with the red right. ball as well. And he's played innings at uh, 100 run strike rate also. And he's played innings at uh, what below 50 also. I have seen him That's bat right. slow as well. So he's got the temperament uh, to become a good test cricketer. The demands are different when you tour overseas and places like England, Australia, South Africa, New Zealand. I hope he adapts uh, being a very smart cricketer. And I, I hope he adapts well, hmm. he gets an inning out Correct. and his test career also gets going. Yeah. He's pretty capable to bat in the middle order for India. So I wish him very well for that. We've seen the best of Surya Kumar in T20s, right? Uh, any one inning which you remember, a red ball cricket inning from Surya Kumar, maybe in Ranji or maybe for, for your club or, you know, one inning which kind of a memory or an innings that you remember of Surya Kumar very fondly? Uh, when I've seen him play some outstanding innings for Jim Khanna, BPC, uh, BPCL as well, and for Mumbai also. So to name one, it's uh, difficult. Difficult. Uh, <laughs> okay, very difficult I'll, I'll let's make it simpler. But one, I one think uh, uh, Mumbai played Saurashtra recently at right. Rajkot at the stadium ground. Mm. And I think Mumbai was shot down. Mumbai was supposed to win the game to qualify. Yeah. yeah. I think we missed out by one wicket or two wicket. He scored 134 against the uh, Ravindra Jadeja, Kamlesh Makwana, mm. on a pitch where they had got us out uh, very early in the first inning. So I think uh, to put Mumbai in the position to win the game, mm. we could not finish it. I think uh, catch was dropped and uh, our bad yeah. luck, we could not finish the game. But that 134, I still remember. Uh, I, he came into bat and he was immediately he was sweeping, sweeping Ravindra, uh, Dharmendra Jadeja, who was a pretty good first class uh, mm. bowler. I saw that inning, uh, because we, I don't get to watch much cricket because I'm ground yeah. most of the time. But I saw that inning on TV. I think uh, that one inning of was knocks. one of the good ones where he looked in total control and he got 134 in, I think, 160-70 balls. So it was a very dominating knock, which he recently played. He has played many at the domestic level like that. Right, right. Surya as a leader, Vinayak? Uh, I was coming to that. I mean, uh, when you ask um, in what's in store for him after the World Cup, uh, how long Rohit continues, hmm. and you never know, maybe you can see a yeah. white ball captain for India because uh, uh, he knowing has his, knowing he his has uh, cricketing smartness, yeah. uh, I know tactically he can be a very good uh, Captain.
tactically Let's and so. uh, yeah uh, man management obviously at that yes. level it's a different skill Correct. altogether but tactically i can guarantee is a good brain who can uh, adapt at that level of cricket. let's hope so vinayak i mean let's hope that uh, we see a new captain sometime whenever we see him and it is surya i uh, always uh, believed in and that. let's hope that he continues to score runs like he has been scoring for india uh, the immediate ones being the, of course the semi final against england and whoever india plays in the final uh, final as well so thank you vinayak thank you for joining us thank you for taking the time out it's pleasure pleasure